Hey guys, have you ever wondered what a tadpole would look like if it dropped out of high school, never moved out of its hometown, remarried five times, and took up smoking crack as its only hobby? Well, unfortunately, you do now. This is the Gulper Eel. It belongs to the family Euphoringidae after Kermit disowned it a couple of years ago for trying to eat the other Muppets. Now, it lives in the ocean's butt crack with the rest of the gang. McDouble, Eyeballs, and Sammy Smiles. The gulper eel feeds primarily on small crustaceans and occasionally small invertebrates. So unless you're a small crab or a squid, then you have nothing to fear. Whenever the gulper eel decides it hasn't consumed enough souls, it opens its mouth and lets food in like the average American. Don't be worried, although its mouth is big enough to fit a baby's head, a baby would be at zero risk of harm if you put it in there. Trust me, I know from personal experience. Its teeth are so pathetic and useless, you couldn't even use them to open a can of monster energy. However, as the saying goes, there's always a bigger fish. No matter how disgusting you may be, there's always an even uglier deep sea fish that would eat you in one heartbeat. Our boy the gulper eel is no exception. Like most wannabe street thugs, the gulper eel tries to appear intimidating despite having zero combat skills. First, it inhales a huge amount of seawater until it looks like a water balloon with a piece of string and two googly eyes attached. Then it swishes the water around in its head until the predator realizes it has about as much meat on it as a Save the Children commercial. After the predator decides to look for a meal worth its while, the gulpy eel deflates and wiggles off. The gulpy eel is an amazingly repulsive animal, and anyone would agree that it belongs with the rest of its terrifying pals at the bottom of the ocean. Still, it's fun to marvel at its ugliness and stupidity when dealing with competent predators. Whenever you're feeling down, you should remember that there's an eel a kilometer below sea level that has it worse than you.